Hi everybody, this is Vicki. Welcome to Vicki's View. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate everyone that does look at my videos and checks out my channel. Um, I know that it's hard to put emotions into words sometimes, but I really do appreciate you stopping by. As far as my subscribers, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And to anyone who is not a subscriber but returns to look at my videos, I definitely appreciate you. Thank you so much. I stopped, well, I took two days off last week. Today is Sunday. Uh, originally, I planned to take Thursday and Friday off. But due to my daughter having to have surgery for having a fall at work, she is doing fine. She's on her road to recovery. She gets a cast on, I think, the 15th. But because of the surgery, I had to flip-flop my um, for two of the days off. So instead of taking off Thursday, I took off Tuesday. However, if I would have been able to go on Thursday as planned, I would have been able to find what I was looking for at Dollar Tree because on Thursday, uh, someone came in and bought up a lot of stuff according to the cashier. And of course, it was some of the ones that I wanted to buy. And I'll get to what that is in a moment. I went to Savers and Goodwill didn't really find much at all. So I'm going to show you those because it's not worth a separate video. I don't need the holder for this, but for $3.99, I figured, you know, these shower gels and the lotion itself, you're probably going to pay, you know, a minimum of $2.50 to maybe $3.50 for these, depending on the store you go to. Now, these may have come from Walmart. I'm not sure. Uh, the tag, unfortunately, is covered, and I don't see anything down here that tells me that it's Walmart. So, oh, look at that. No, is that, I think that says $10.99. I don't know whose tag that is. So that is, but it doesn't look like a, it's hard to tell that's supposed to be a price tag or what. But anyway, I paid $3.99. It's got a cute little whale charm on it. I thought that was adorable. But I thought, you know, for $3.99, I can always use the lotion and the shower gel, so it's worth it. These I paid $5.95 for. I'm going to, I don't think these are more than maybe $1.50 if you were to go to Walmart. They may have been only a dollar at one time. I don't know. I haven't, I don't shop their uh, travelers section very much for this stuff. But what I'm thinking of doing is pack, looking online to see how much these sell for, and then maybe packaging them up in like maybe two or three or something like that, and sell them at my booth. This I picked up, I thought this was really pretty. Something like this might, has more of a chance of selling in my booth than something that's old. I thought this was really pretty. It could just be a decorative piece that goes with other blue stuff. Um, you could probably make a little bouquet of flowers and put in there, just whatever you want. But I thought this was really pretty. And in certain light, that blue is gorgeous. You can't really tell it here. Oop, it's like it could be a little bloomish. Not sure. But it is pretty. All right, now on to the Dollar Tree stuff. I normally don't pick up cat toys, but I decided to go ahead and get one or get two. And these were the ones I liked the best. They had another color, which was probably more for a girly cat, very rainbow, but basically it's buyer's choice, whether it's girl or boy, but I liked these. Got candy. I've never had the peanut butter one, so I decided for a dollar Easter, go ahead and get it and give it a try. Got some more of these. I need to hide these and put them in the refrigerator and hide them. My dad ate one and I didn't think he would, but he did. He found it and ate it. Same with this. This one, I don't know if I should refrigerate it just due to the fact that um, the inside, I don't know if the inside would harden or not, but 
picked up also some light bulbs. I'm going to put those out for my dad to use. I've not seen these napkins in my Dollar Tree, so I went ahead and picked up some. Oh, what I forgot to tell you was I went to a different city, which is an hour and a half away. And that's why I was able to go to Savers. The one store I forgot to go to was Michael's. So that can be that will be for another trip. Next time I go, I may skip Goodwill and Savers completely. Just go to Dollar Tree and Michael's. This is new. I decided to pick this up. I don't need a new one yet, but I liked the smell of this. And, and since my bathroom is beachy, perfect. I've never used this before, so I decided to give it a try. I'm going to use it at work since I drink coffee more at work than I do at home. I know these will be good because they're pretzels. It's a Snyder brand, but I've never had rounds before, so that'll be interesting. And where's the other bag? Oh, it got hidden by flowers. <laughs> and I picked up these. Uh, I was planning to give these to my dad. It. I might hoard them and eat them myself. I don't know yet. I picked up some flowers for the uh, cemetery. These are the only ones I picked up that were pink. And I picked these up because they're, own, they're small little bouquets, which is perfect if you are, you know, trying to save money and yet you want to put flowers at more than one grave site. Because I have uh, one aunt and three uncles at the cemetery plus my grandparents so I figured why not you know put some of these out I don't remember how many of these I bought because there are so many of them uh, they, and I didn't mind now this one I think this one's missing the butterfly because I just noticed before I started filming that it was missing something and these I bought for my mother's grave I Really had a hard time picking a combination, but I wanted something colorful and I wanted, but I wanted different flowers. So I've got, not sure what, I got a hydrangea, which is the mint green one, the purple rose or lavender roses, and this one, let's see, I never know what this is called, aster. And it's what I would call a, some people might call this aqua to me, it's a teal blue. When I look through my lens on the camera, to me it looks like a light blue, but it's actually like a teal blue. When I first bought one of these, I had wished that I had picked up a second one, but at the time I'm like, oh, I don't need another one. So when I saw these at this Dollar Tree, I decided that I was gonna pick up two of each. Now I am going to try to sell one set in my booth and hold on to the other set. I have currently the red one. So if you happen to see these, definitely buy them. I love these things right now. I'm keeping cat food in it. If I was taking care of my daughter's dog, I would put the dog food in it. Actually, I take that back. There was another container for her. But these are great even for putting, um, like if you have small shampoo bottles for your dog, leashes, sweaters, whatever you want. These are perfect for that. I love them. They, I don't know if they're leak proof, but they definitely feel like they seal perfectly. Okay, so I in a previous haul, you may have seen that I picked up one. I think it says Sweet Dreams. So I got the Good Night and Good Morning one. So those are going in my booth. The other one's already in my booth. The two that I have, I don't remember if I put three out or two, but they have not sold yet. This one is different than what I have there. And I don't know if this is the same or not, because I did not notice, you know, a name for these. It just says three piece set. And so for my booth, that's what I do. I just put three piece set. Okay, I bought, I thought I bought more, but I guess I bought four. Um, these masks, actually I do have four. I was wearing the fourth one or fifth one. These masks are good. I can breathe in these. They're comfortable. If you looked at my previous videos, um, I think it was the last one. I showed you what it looked like outside the package and I was worried about the part that goes over the ear being too wide. It's perfect. These are comfortable. I wore these. I wore one of these when my daughter, wait a minute, 
No, I take that back. Wait a second. No, I, let's see. Was it last? Yes, I did. I wore one of these when my daughter was having her surgery and I had to have her there at 5.30 in the morning. So I wore that thing from 5.30 to 10 o'clock, about 10 o'clock. And I'll tell you, it was comfortable. I could breathe, no problem. They do slide a little easy, but what I do love is they don't slide into my eyes. I hate that. I've got some that I bought from a friend who put some graphics on it, and I love that she did that, and I love that I was able to buy them, but I don't like that they slide into my eyes, just like the disposable ones that you buy that are those blue ones. Same thing. They slide into your eyes if you're not careful. I hate that. So if I recommend getting these, they're a buck a piece, as you know, and they do have um, solid pink, black. I saw gray. Um, where is it? Uh, I think I saw this one in multicolor. Uh, what else? Ah, I'm trying to remember. Um, camo. They had a different camo. They had some that looked like pixels were on it that could be for gamers. So these are definitely a yes. So that's why I bought four. So now I have a total of five. And I might only keep one of my other masks that I bought from her and either donate or ask my daughter if she wants them or whatever. Okay, since I hauled eyelashes, I did not see these before, so I picked up some glue. And I'm going to put these in my booth. I'm going to get them tagged and ready to go so tomorrow night I can stop at my booth, um, which is going to be on Monday. And you're going to see this video on Wednesday. I decided to get these eyebrow kits. They are, I had to look carefully because they look so close together in color. But I got a lot of glare. I wish today was sunny. <laughs> Then I picked up this blush. It's the Flower Brand. Focus. Okay, this is not focusing as well as I wanted. There we go. And I thought that it would sell at my booth. Um, I think I've sold a few things, but I can't remember what. Now this is different. This is a lip lacquer. And I was very careful of what colors to pick because they also had like what looked like a navy blue. Okay, maybe I'm not hip or whatever they call it nowadays, but I just can't see having blue lips. <laughs> for So I got one that is more like a brown. Unfortunately, they don't say the names on here. They just say the lip color is the color of the um, tube. So I got a brown. I got a pink, focus. I got what looks like a purple, but I think it's, I don't know, it's, what do you call that? It's not, it's like a purple that looks towards the brown side, like it's got a little brown in it. And then a lighter pink. I don't know if my camera's picking up these colors or not. Hopefully it is. And I decided to get this hair, I only bought one. I didn't want to go crazy. I've already done that with masks of for hair, for face, and I didn't want to do that again. Okay, I'm going to try to not shadow the light here. I saw another YouTuber buy these. I really liked this one. Now, I'll probably try to sell it at my booth. It's the only one that I liked. And I'm not big on these things, but... You know, it, this would not be bad for me to carry when I go shopping. Just put my sunglasses in it. But, you know, I kind of hate to have two purses in my car, <laughs> you know. But this would definitely hold some sunglasses, a, uh, what do you call it? My keys, sunglasses, um, my wallet. That's It's one of those RFID wallets. This would definitely hold that, just the bare essentials. Not all the other stuff that I carry in my purse that I very seldom ever use. You ladies know what I'm talking about. I, this is really smelling good. That thing keeps moving. It's the only one I liked in this. They had some other jars. I think it, I don't want to lie to you. I think it was lavender, 
um, a lavender jar, white, uh, pink, and maybe green. But this is the only one that I liked. Okay, so I picked up more of these. These seem to sell better at my booth. Um, I came very close to picking up some of those uh, USB cables for iPhones. It was that, I think it's called Cable C or something like that. And I chose not to because I took a good look at the measurements, at how long that cable is. It's less than 30 inches. I thought it, they were three feet. My bad for not reading the measurements on the label, which are in that upper corner on those things. And I just decided, you know what? I doubt very much anybody buys them because they're short. Now, they're okay if you want to charge your car, your phone in your car and you're not using it at the same time and you want something short. They're perfect. Other than that, they are not good. <laughs> I mean, for 29 inches, that's ridiculous. They should be a minimum of three feet. So I decided to go ahead and pick these up. This one is really pretty with the green sparkle and these are iridescent. So, and this one has got like a rainbow or is that a flower? I can't tell. Focus. Maybe it's a flower, a muted flower. And then this one was pretty. So, these, I'm not going to buy those cables anymore. When I saw the C, I thought, oh, perfect. I'll get these for people who have iPhones. No, not long enough. I picked these up also for my booth. I thought these were really cute. Uh, they did have a sloth. I did not like the sloth. So I thought, well, the, the llama and the unicorn will most likely sell. And I also got these for my booth. I thought somebody might be really interested in these metallic markers, two different colors. This looks like it's gold, silver, and copper, but that, maybe it's a, I don't know, it's either two coppers or one is slightly different color. Can't tell for sure, because they do look slightly different. And now, Okay, before I get to the stickers, I decided to pick up two of these. I think I have the other ones that you get in the hardware section. And these bags, I have an idea. I just, I wanted to pick up something that would be good um, for this. I'm gonna make some grab bags. I have an idea of putting stuff in that will fit, that haven't sold, maybe like 10 items for $5. So there, the, whoever buys it might be getting a, probably like a, well, basically a $10 value for half the price. So that is the plan for these bags. And here we go with the stickers. This is what I was telling you that I was on my wish list that I've seen other YouTubers haul. Um, most of it, I got just one of each. This one, I got only one. I thought those were really pretty. I love the scooter and the tower. And I thought, you know, this would actually, not so much the Vitrola, Surprised I know that how to that that's a Vitrola. That I know the term or the name of it. But these other three things I thought definitely go together because you got a light post, you got the Eiffel Tower, you got a bench, sorry, four things, and the scooter. Those are all to me outdoor stuff. This is an indoor item, which does not go with the rest. These are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I got one of these and one of these. You know, it's funny. You think of sunflowers only in the summer, I mean in the winter, but they are in the summer. I remember when I was in, living in California, Northern California, and I drive to Southern Oregon, there were fields, farm fields of sunflowers. It was so pretty to see. I didn't really need more hydrangeas. I have some other ones. But I got one of each of these as well. These are just so pretty. These are, oh, I can't put them in. Okay, now these, I got three of each. And the reason I did is because of the tiles. I, I thought, wow, 
These could be used not just on things like cards, but these could be used for decorative purposes. I mean, this could be wall art. If you put it on, you know, a canvas or something, this could be wall art. This could be made into a frame style. You could add this to, um, like you take those Dollar Tree canvases apart. Now, I don't know if this would be too wide for the, um, oh, I'm trying to, sorry about the glare. I forgot about that. I don't know if this would be too wide for that canvas, but I'm sure this would fit on something if you wanted to use this as um, material for framing a picture. And then I got these three. These are, it's blue and green. And I just, oh man, love the blue and green. Love these, love these, love these. So pretty. And these are, I, I can't remember if there was a different style. This looks more Native American since with the arrows and the, the, I don't know what you call them. They got feathers and other designs, but I just thought these were so pretty. Oop, sorry about that. Right. And these are the last of those metal ones. See, that to me, this would make great items for decor. I mean, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. That one almost looks like marble, like stone. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And then these, I got one of each. I was never going to buy butterflies again, but how could I resist this? I mean, this is perfect. Look at that. Wow, I just realized this is the longest video I've ever done. These were on my wish list. The items that were on my wish list that I didn't get were those wood die cuts or laser cuts. I wanted to get the flower ones and the um, the words, but the words were smaller than I wanted, and th there was just nothing I wanted to buy. I wasn't going to waste my time and my money buying them, but the ones I wanted to get were the ones with flowers and I think some kind of round design on some of them, and this is the last one. So pretty, and I was very good. I only got one of each of those. All right, everybody, that is it. This was a big haul. This was a longer video than I've ever done before. I wish I could upload it and show it to you tonight, but unfortunately, the longer my videos are, the longer it takes for them to upload at home, and sometimes they don't at all. So I will be uploading this video tomorrow and preparing it for Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the long after video speech. I hope you come back to visit, subscribe to my channel, and more importantly, please keep coming back to view my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Bye for now.